GCF fund and the Green Climate, green climate uh, Funding uh, really, we saw as being particularly important because with this introduction we were able to tackle a number of measures uh, from a resiliency and redundancy standpoint that will not only aid the Barbados Water Authority in some of its efforts, but will also signify a significant change or step in the right direction for the entire Barbados. The government of Barbados is highly invested because we got the endorsement through the National Designated Authority to send the funding proposal to the Green Climate Fund. The GCF Secretariat, they visited Barbados and I believe it was a successful visit. We visited the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant, the Golden Ridge Pumping Facility and the Bell Pumping Station. The Bell Pumping Station provides water to about 50% of the population of Barbados. The Green Climate Fund would allow the Bell Pumping Station, for example, to become more climate resilient. We recognize that this has been increasingly important as the frequency of the severe weather systems that pass through the region has increased over the past couple of years. But, uh, the Green Climate Fund is, uh, is very uh, uh, willing and ready to support uh, the Barbados Water Authority in, uh, in making this uh, public service more uh, resilient to climate change. You have already submitted not PPF requests. We went into the Ministry of Environment and it was really impressive the level of technicality and the scientific basis that they have. So we really congratulate you for all that part and we were really highly impressed. So we have to keep on working with the NDA and the NDA through the different stakeholders on what is going to be that alignment on the different projects and think more on a let's say, a more ambitious way of scaling, but as well on programming and not only project by project. These funds will help household businesses and other entities to build and resilience to climate change. There's also partnership in the capacity building component, which uh, links the BWA with the University of South Florida and the University of the West Indies conduct some studies that are relevant to building climate resilience within uh, the water sector. These measures that we are now pursuing in earnest to grant funding from GCF will allow us to at least put us in a position where we can reduce that impact going forward. So whether it is to tanker services, whether it is to decentralized service storage, whether it is to or the extension of what we are doing in terms of or reducing our carbon footprint, um, even through the use of PV farms or whatever the case may be, whether it is in terms of putting in uh, generation or redundancy capacities outside of water but on the electrical side as well. And for that we're very happy. We're very happy to be involved. It's been a learning experience. We see what the significance of the impact will be not only at the BWA level but also at the national level and hopefully in turn at the Caribbean level.